Hi, how you doing? My name is Dennis, executive chef for the Red Clover. Here I'm going to show you exactly how to make a uh, hold up parchment paper cartouche. If you're into those fancy French words, or it's a parchment paper lid. It can make them many different sizes. It's pretty much just a little bit of an origami here. So I have just regular um, parchment paper. Um, you can do this with wax paper as well, but parchment paper will work the best. So you want to fold it in half. So I have basically a half sheet tray size, cookie sheet tray size. Fold it in half, and then you want to take it, place it on a flat surface, and you want to fold it, fold it over one more time, and okay, so it's a little square. Now, at this point, you got to take this point right here is very important. That's going to be the hole in the center of your cartouche to let some of the steam out. One of the reasons chefs like to use cartouches is the lid doesn't let any steam and it gives you a roily boil. With the cartouche, it just lets it simmer because it releases some of the steam. So at this point, that's where your hole is going to be. And you're going to go and keep on making another fold to that, like making a paper airplane. We all used to do that in junior high school. Make that, and then one more. Okay. A fold and a fold. So now it looks like so. And you can see that you have a fold here, a fold here, and a fold here. So now we're going to create a little hole by making a triangle fold, a triangle cut. So you're going to take a cut this way, and then move it this way away from you, and make a cut that way. So you have a little triangle. And then you're going to come up here to the last piece, and you're going to start making a little circle. And you're going to circle this out, and this is what it looks like, okay? It's almost like an ice cream cone, if you look at it. And you're going to unfold it, and unfold it again, unfold it again, unfold it again, and see, it's a little lid. And that can go right on top of a pot, like so, and it works as a lid. And now that you can cut this hole in the center bigger if you want more if you want more steam to come out, you just make the hole bigger. And you have a bigger hole. And it fits. Right inside of a pot, like a lid. And that would be how you make a cartouche. They're very great for braises. They can go in the oven. I use them for artichoke spherical. I use them for octopus. I use them for braised shoulder ribs. Many different culinary uh, applications with a cartouche. And again, this is Dennis from the Red Clover Inn in Mended, Vermont. And thanks for joining us.